One, two, three. Oh, come on. I swear you're cheating. You win every time. You're just a predictable man. All right, hand it over. What? Uh, nothing, nothing. Sorry. You never looked so not defensive. Like, almost approachable? Are you sure you're just friends with her? I don't look defensive all the time. And since when did you know any kind of romance other than kissing yourself in the mirror? Oh, please. I hosted every Valentine's Day in our school. Practically responsible for every successful relationship. Oh, so that's why there's so much audible fighting in the dorms during that day. Believe it or not, I know chemistry when I see it. Bless you. Thank you. Aren't you going to say bless you? You're sitting next to me. You've clearly been blessed. I'm here for you, Azrael Blackwing. Again, you're going to contribute to an exciting experience. Just let the bastard thank me. You keep her here while I go prepare for the fun. Feels like it's radiating energy. <sighs> I wouldn't normally dress, but it's worth the risk if what's behind the door can help us escape. Ow! Oh, Kana, Kana, wherever you are, the little devil. <laughs> How could you be so stupid? You know that they had intoxicated needles installed in our dog collars. How about we start yelling at her after she hears us properly, Sora? Why did you do that? You know you can't escape on your own like that. I know, but I did it for another reason. I think I know a way to break us out of here. Oh really? Don't tell me. Alright? No, not that. I'm talking about the reason why those bastards will always manage to gain back control. Technology. What about it? I've seen a celestial crystal in one of the rooms. You know, the one that they tell us about in school? Uh, uh -huh. not that we forgot, but uh... <sighs> celestial crystals are as huge as they rare. They are used as a source of universal energy. However, even if they radiate endless energy, the radiation only reaches one mile X and Y while also reaching 248 meters C, which is more than enough for wherever we are now, I assume. Alright, now that we know how the scientists and guards power this place, how do we destroy the crystal? It should have some form of protection, right? It does. It was surrounded by really tough buyers now. Only one none of us can crack, and I doubt that's the only line of defense it has. Actually, now that you brought this up, I remember that there's a way to stop celestial radiation. There's a solution that can be made with various substances that I believe this place can provide. If we create a fair amount of it and smash the container, then it should create a shockwave that'll stop the radiation for a good few hours. Enough for everyone to escape, I believe. Great thinking, geniuses. I officially admit, I confuse my desk with my bed. We can start by rounding up other prisoners so that we can eventually sneak all of the ingredients into the cells, so therefore, we can make enough for everybody. Sorry, don't make this sound like a baggie. It's hard not to. The houses around me are filled with people who panic. They hear the noise and the static, and then we all become frantic. We hear the omens and legends. We're praising God in our place.
pleasures We're looking over our shoulders Pretend we got it together Right? It feels so good. Let's not celebrate too much just yet. We aren't that far from that prison yet. Goldblood and her goons will be catching up to us any minute now. Almost right. We should catch up with the other hybrids. Wait. Maybe Sunshine and Jerry should go back to Gold Chain. I did drag you into this mess to begin with. Like always, so we. Uh, I mean. I would understand if this is a goodbye forever. <laughs> it was nice meeting you, son. Did you remember the promise we made? But you guys asked me if I wanted to hang out after school. Correction, Ezra did. That idiot. Don't you see? You'll be useless in group projects. Like seriously, do you even know anything other than sleeping? That's not true. Oh, what a comeback. Seriously, leave us alone, doofus. Go find a pair of parents first before thinking about talking to us. And what makes you think she's so desperate to hang out with someone like you anyways? Oh, look who it is. The demon girl. What are you gonna do, eat me? You will give me a stomach ache, but I'm pretty hungry today, so who knows? Oh, please. Everyone knows demons don't actually eat angels. It's just a story told to fool little kids. Tell me, which arm do you think you can live without? I'll start with that one. Heh, <laughs> you're weird. I need to go now. I hear Miss White Cloud calling. Azriel? Yes? Will you promise me something? Say it first, just so it's none of your pranks again. It's not that, Asriel. Will you promise never to leave me? Because I know I can never leave you, so... Would... Would you return the favor? Please? Of course I will, Sunny. Swear, sis. Okay, not to be that guy, but can you 
guys hug out a different time. I told you I'm the genius of relationships. Aren't you supposed to be running to Mother Gulchin right now? I think I'll stick around for a while. It's kind of weird to say this, but the last month has been the most enjoyable of my life. It's better than whatever I had back at the academy. Also, finals are coming up this time of year, and I haven't studied. <sighs> I guess that means I'll have to deal with your ass for quite some time from now on. Oh, you love me, little sis. Are you two coming or not?